What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Once again, we're in the garage and we have another project. Ever since I started doing these videos and some of my body shops and people I know have uh, started to see what I can do, I've been getting some pretty crazy requests. So once again, we got another project here for us today. Uh, I'll take you through it here. It's a 2019 BMW X5. And as you can see, the dent is on the hatch right here. Um, I know it might not look like really anything. It might look like, oh, that's just kind of pushed in there. Just pop that back out. But if you take a closer look, oh, hopefully the camera can focus. You can see up, up on the top here, it's, it's pretty high. So that's gonna be really, really tough to get that back down and that um, matching up pretty good. So, and then if you go underneath, you can kind of see the same thing there. So really this dent kind of is pushed in pretty deep and is really through that whole entire panel here. So it will, it will take some work. Um, usually I start tapping first and then, um, and then start pulling some of the deepness out. But this one, I think I'm gonna start with glue. And glue a tab in there and just start pulling that. See if I could get out some of that deepness and then, um, and then start tapping. We'll, we'll see how that goes. I, I was actually speaking to another dent guy I know and uh, just picking his brain with it. I was like, how, how would you work this? So he was suggesting maybe glue, glue a tab on and while you're pulling, also tap the top. So we'll see how, we'll see how it goes. I might try a couple different methods here, but um, we'll take you through the process, see how it turns out and uh, I, I might, I might do this video a little longer than my other ones. Maybe like um, just kind of take you step by step through it. I know I had some uh, questions in the last video about tools I use and why I do a certain thing or a certain way. So maybe maybe we'll take this one a little slower and um, you know see how it goes that way. And if you don't want to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> you can click through it or or just skip the video all together whatever you like so uh, We'll get started here and uh, take you through the process Before we get started. I kind of wanted to touch on something the pricing aspect and Your reputation behind it and I'm not going to get into detail about what you should charge or what your time's worth or anything like that but just really what what it looks like on your reputation um, doing some certain jobs. So take for instance that Audi A3 I did, um, that video I did on that. Two hours in, three hours into that dent, it didn't look that good still, right? I mean, it didn't look worse, but it didn't look that much better. So say that car was at a body shop or one of your car dealerships, and they said, just spend some time on that, you know, like give you a cheap price, like we'll spend this, just spend some time on it, make it look better. Well, if you spend two hours on it, it still didn't look that good, right? Even though they told you, don't spend a lot of time on it, just make it look better, that might not reflect well on your reputation, right? Especially if that car goes out and they're like, wow, who worked on that? And they're like, oh, Wipeout did that. It just doesn't look good for you. So that's something to take into consideration when taking on jobs and if it's worth the time and effort to put into it and you know what you're getting compensated for it. So take for instance also this car. So this customer doesn't want to go through insurance. Their plus their deductible is pretty high I think. Um, they also don't want to go to a body shop. It's going to cost a lot more to go to a body shop. So they want me to do the panel and I'm actually going to do it a lot cheaper than what their deductible is even for their um, insurance. One of the things I told the customer though was, I'm going to pop a hole up underneath this panel here. So this is where the tail light's in. So you're never gonna see it. We'll put a you know factory looking rubber plug in there. But that way I'll be able to touch the dent a lot easier, work it easier, and things like that. Again, um, every situation is different. Now, if it was something like a new car dealership or things like that, I wouldn't do that. I would 
try to fight it through the panel, you know, behind the panel underneath. And the panel's off, and I still might, you know, use that aspect of it. But um, for this, I'm gonna do, you know, put a little hole in there, and then that way I can work it easier, stay in that time frame, make the dent really nice for the customer, and uh, they should be happy. So just something I thought I'd uh, mention and, you know, just take into consideration. When I was trained, my uncle is the one that trained me, my uncle Rich, and he got into this business kind of when it first started, I guess like 40 years ago or something, and uh, that was the one thing he always told me, just be a good PDR guy. So. Um, Something I always thought about, if you're, if you're good at what you do, the jobs will come, the money will follow, and, and um, just something, something to consider. So I just thought I'd mention that before we get going. All right, let's get started. So first thing we wanna do, get this panel nice and secure. Um, got your little door jammer here. Let's put this on here. Panel down. Now we're nice and secure, so that locks in there, so we can kind of push and tap and do whatever, and it kind of locks in there. So, like I said, I think we're going to start off by glue pulling this, so let's clean this panel off. Some alcohol. We're going to do each of these tabs here, one of these longer tabs. I think I'm going to go right over that crease, start up at the top here where this deepness is, see if we can pull most of that and see how it goes. So, again, I got the orange hog glue in here, holds nice and strong and cleans up well, so let's see how this works. Set that in there, let that dry for a minute, and uh, I don't think, I think I might use a slap hammer to try to, to pull this instead of using a mini lifter. Usually like you could use something like this and then pull it that way. But I think we're gonna, we're gonna use a slap hammer in this one here. See how it works out. out pretty good. Do a little more. I don't know if you can see in the camera the flex of this panel or the flex of this glue stick so that that pulled pretty well. So we'll put some alcohol on there release that. Again, you still got that crown up top and down below, but I think what I'm going to do is pull this out, get that pulled out pretty nice, and then we'll, we'll keep tapping it and go from there. All right, I figured I'd show you what's going on so far. So I glue pulled it about three or four times, just trying to get out some of that deepness. Just wanna show you what the dent looks like in the meantime. You can see it's still high right around here. You got a high spot here and still up on top, some low spots and high spots and, and down in here. So it's starting to 
you could see it's almost like pinching together and it, it, it kind of looks like, oh, you just want to get in there and just push that out. Um, looks like what you would want to do, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to tap down this, these high spots, gets dropped some of them down. If you do that, it's so much easier to work out the deepness then because you don't have that pressure holding, holding that deepness in the center. So I'm gonna do some tapping, maybe glue pull one or two more times, get, you know, after I tap down those high spots, and then we'll start working it with, with the rods and, and slowly, slowly get it back to where it should be. So just figured I'd show you that in the process and uh, we'll just keep going, do a little tapping now. All right, we've been tapping it down, glue pulling it, doing some other tapping. It's not really glue pulling the way I'm liking, so I'm gonna just start pushing with a metal rod, just get in there and start moving things around. I'm gonna heat it up first, um, especially braid in here. That's a, a deep part with that, that body line going through there, so we wanna make sure that the paint's nice and, and warm and pliable, so like it doesn't crack when it's working its way out. So we'll keep going with it, heat it up, start pushing with metal rods and, uh, and go to town. I don't know how many hours I've been on this thing, but this thing is, uh, it's really frustrating. So some of those other ones, I spent a lot of hours on in time and it's, it's fine that way. They weren't frustrating. They were a lot of work, but this one is a lot of work and it's frustrating. So every time I'm trying to do something, it's just, it's just, it's fighting me like the whole entire time. Like I said, there's something smooth on the backside and that the way that edge is down, every time I try to pinpoint that edge, it just wants to roll off and slip around. And like, it, it's just really tough. You can see kind of the, the process working. I mean, the dent's coming out better, but for how long I've been on this thing, it, I should be a lot further than this. And, and really it's, it's almost causing like more issues in the long run. So like the, the, the more aggressive I get with it, it, it's causing more work for me later on to try to clean it up. But I don't know what else to do on this one. So I might have met my match with this guy here, but uh, we'll just keep working it. I'm just doing what I know to do. I'm just gonna keep going with it. I didn't think I would have this much trouble with it. It's just a very, very frustrating dent. So we'll keep going. It's hard to even do this video on this thing because I'm working so long on the dent and it almost seems like nothing is happening. So. I don't know how this video is going to turn out like uh, like watching it if it's even going to be interesting or not but uh, we'll, we'll keep going and, and hopefully it will work out. I, I just, I'm, I'm kind of frustrated. <laughs>
moving along on this thing, it's finally starting to get to a point where it's working out a little bit. Um, I'll take you through it here. Just trying to get all those little spots out now. As you can see, it's mostly gone. It's kind of hard to focus here. Let me try moving this light for us. Um, you can see it's a little ripply. That's what I don't like to do. When, when you're working it then, I like to try to work it so you don't have to get that those little divots and low spots and like I said it just wasn't moving for me I had to get really aggressive with it and because of that that's what you get so now I'm gonna have to go back in and fine-tune everything and this paint is very very smooth the BMW paint doesn't have a lot of orange peel in it so it's gonna be a lot of work this this one really 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 put me to the test and I don't think it's gonna come out perfect um, it's not one that I would like to remember and of course I'm doing a video on it so it will always be there <laughs> but uh, we're moving along we're just gonna keep going and uh, and see how it turns out um, again the whole thing time and money the customer only wants to spend so much money on it so really there's only only so much time that I, I can spend on it and really I'm going to be spending double the time than I that I should be spending on it but again I don't want it not looking good so I will spend that extra time and and uh, make it look good for the customer and hopefully we can just move on to the next one so we'll keep going all right as I mentioned we're kind of done getting out most of the deepness. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch up the tip here. Again, that's why I like these ultra dent tools. This is a little double bend here. Um, actually not a little rod, this is a pretty big rod. So you can see the, the leverage I'm getting on this thing and it still gave me a lot of trouble. So we're gonna be done with the rubber tip, take that off and we're gonna just put on a metal tip. I don't want a real sharp tip yet. Not yet, I'll get to that maybe later on, but that tip should be good enough just to get to those low spots. Again, I don't wanna crack the paint or anything like that, so I'll be heating it up and then just going in and trying to get out some of those low spots with this metal tip. So let's keep going. So we're still going with this one. Again, every little bit of this dent is just fighting me the, the whole time so i got all the deepness out fine tuning it now i keep switching up different tips i use a metal tip and then i use like this rubber tip and this other like kind of plastic tip and just going back and forth but this thing is just every step of the way it's just fighting me so i can't wait till this car is going to be done i'll take you through it here just so you can see kind of what we're doing so you can see in general the dent came out pretty good so it's not too bad let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit but you can see the orange peel on this car is really really flat um, not a whole lot of orange peel in the panel but you can see where the dent is it's a little picky pokey whatever <laughs> you want to call it um, Again, not extremely thrilled with this. Um, it's coming out. I think the customer will be fine with it. It's just one of those things like I talked about before, like uh, your reputation. So it's not something I really want to put my name to, but again, it's, it's one of those ones that's just, it, it's just not going good. Um, it happens. It's very frustrating. I'm tired, cranky. <laughs> um, I'm probably gonna stop in a little bit. I'll do a little more pushing and then I'll probably stop. Me and the wifey have dinner plans tonight so we'll go out to dinner. Hopefully I don't take work with me. Just leave that here, have a good night and then tomorrow I'll start working on it again. Um, after, after I'm done, I'm gonna have to like wet sand it and polish it. I'm not the best at that like paint wise so I might have someone swing over and take care of that for me. Um, I know a good 
detail guy. He's awesome with like paint, doing wet sanding and scratches and things like that. So I might have him swing over just to, just to hit it and polish it up for me. That way I don't mess anything up. Um, I'm better at dents than messing with the paint. So um, maybe I should stick to that. So we'll see, but I'll keep going a little more and then I'm probably calling it quits for tonight and we'll start first thing in the morning. So there you go. just one of those ones that I personally am not happy with just I guess how the whole thing worked out and the final results I mean it looks good for what the dent was and everything it does look good but it's just it's just not one that I'm really proud of I mean it's a two-day process that I spent on this thing so um, probably I guess a little over nine hours um, so again, what I'm charging for how much time I spend is not the greatest. I just want it to look good so the customer's happy. Um, I'll, uh, I'll chalk this one up to a fail, <laughs> but uh, we'll take you through it here, um, the before and afters. And again, if you like the video, if you can, like, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna try to post all different content, so this is obviously one that I feel didn't come out the greatest, but still doing a video on it just so you can see and uh, we'll take you through it here. <laughs> 